Okay, let's just review a couple of vocabulary terms. First, we have a common logarithm, which means it has a base of 10, and it's just written with a log. Remember, when it doesn't have a base, we know that the base will be 10. We also have a natural logarithm with a natural base, and that's the base E. And you'll see that written as LN, and that what that means is log with a base of E. Okay, evaluating logarithms. When we have solved for x in logarithms, we've been using a certain procedure, and the first procedure we would do is first to convert the logarithmic function to an exponential function. Then we would find a common base, and then set the exponents equal to each other and solve. However, here we have a different situation. We have a logarithm, with, which is x equals log base 5 of 3. And we're going to rewrite that. So it's base, oh, sorry, base of 5 to the x power is equal to 3. I'll rewrite that here. 5 to the x power is equal to 3. Now notice here we don't have a common base, and we can't get a common base. And since that gives us problems, what we're going to do is we're going to change the base and we're going to use our calculators to do that. Right? The change of base formula is this. We have log base b of a. We can change the base by putting log of a divided by log of b. And the same thing applies with the natural logarithm. It's log of a divided by log of b. Right. Let's work through a few examples here. So first, to solve the problem we had before, we, had, we would take the log of 3 divided by the log of 5, and we put that in our calculators. Don't forget when you're putting it in your calculators, you're going to use the log button, so log 3, close the parentheses, divided by log 5, and close the parentheses. And we get 0.6826. So I now know that this is approximately 0.6826. Okay, now to give some more examples. On the first one, we would rewrite that as the log of 23 over the log of 4. Log of 23 divided by the log of 4. And when we put that in our calculators, we get... 2.2618. Alright, for number 2, rewrite it. So we have log of 42 divided by log of 7, and that equals 1.9208. Okay, for number 3, we have to do something first. We're going to use our rules, our properties of logarithms to combine that to a single logarithm first. Remember, when we're adding, we can multiply what we're taking the log of. And now we can rewrite it as log of 24 divided by log of 5. And that's approximately 1.9746. Right, for number 4, again, we want to see if we can rewrite that as a single logarithm. However, I don't have a common base here, so I cannot do that. I'll take the log of 31 divided by the log of 3, approximately 3.1257. And then we'll take the log of 11 divided by the log of 2, and that gives us 3.4594. And when we subtract that, we get negative 0.3337. Okay, on number five, notice we have a power up here, so we can take that power and put it out in front. So it's 10 times log of two divided by log of six, and that's gonna give us approximately 3.8685. I took the log of two divided by the log of six, and then multiply by 10. Right, and then for the last one, we have the log of one, of uh, base eight, to the one of one twelfth. Remember this right here can be rewritten as log base eight of twelve to the negative one, and then I can bring that out in front of my log 
to make it a little bit easier. So now I take the log of 12 divided by the log of 8 and multiply by negative 1.